In 2020, we made the huge decision to sell our home in the lower 48 and move north to Alaska to live a way of life free from the hustle and bustle of big city life. Join us here as we share our everyday adventures living free in Alaska. Previously on Living Free Alaska, it's boating season and we take our Hughescraft adventure to Prince William Sound for her maiden voyage of the 2022 boating season, where we anchor out in front of Tidewater Glaciers and Cascading Waterfalls and go on the hunt for some delicious spotted and pink shrimp to fill our freezers. Click the link above if you've missed this video. Now let's get back to the vlog. Welcome back to Living Free Alaska. This video was originally shot in 2022. We are currently updating our new YouTube channel with this content to bring it up to real time. Expect new catching up the vlog videos every day through the month of February, and then we will return to a one video per week upload in real time. Some folks have been asking why our content is two years old, and again, We've started this second YouTube channel to separate our Alaska Life content from our business content and wanted to share our story as to how we got here, how we built our home, and how we do Alaska as full-time residents. We thank you for being patient while we catch up the vlog and are looking forward to getting back to regular weekly video soon. Until then, we hope you are enjoying our story. Welcome to Chicken, Alaska, home to only a few year round and around a hundred during the peak summer months due to nearby mines in the hills. But during one particular weekend each June, chicken's population soars over 1,000 people due to a famous music festival where folks come from near and far to sing, dance, 
and hula hoop the weekend away to dozens of bands pumping out good old thumping bluegrass country and folk tunes. Welcome to Chicken Stock. One of the highlights of this family-friendly event was the peep drop. Yes, peeps, famous at Easter time, where over 3,000 peeps are dropped from the famous Candy Cane Express, thanks to Santa Claus up in the North Pole, for the kids to collect and for the adults to win from the jackpot. That is literally the world-famous Candy Cane helicopter. Everybody give them a wave. what you're about to see to anybody who's never been here before. Amen. Yeah. They'll see pictures and they'll be like, hey man, Santa's got a new ride. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might have just came up with the name of their new theme song. <laughs> Alright, we got a test drop. the jackpot you purchase a peep and if the peep lands in the kiddie pool you win this year's event was a blast and well there was a cleanup needed on aisle nine or otherwise known as the merchandise tent I'll be honest, we didn't vlog this particular weekend. I had every intention to film it, however, the music took over, and instead, it was a weekend spent enjoying some of the best bands from around Alaska and beyond. But don't worry, we will be back. We are one of the lucky few who got tickets for the 2023 Chicken Stock before they sold out back in January. If you're interested in going to Chicken Stock, be sure to check out their website at chickenstockmusicfest.com. Tickets go on sale in January and tickets sell out quick, so be sure to put it on your calendar. Meanwhile, back at home, as summer progressed, so did the house, as our August deadline of moving into the house was quickly approaching. You see, most of Gary's family was due to come up to celebrate his Grandma Mary's 90th birthday here in Alaska, and well, they were all going to stay with us in our house, all 13 of us. Well, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. What? Go in our bedroom. Oh, yeah. That's what we're looking for. Isn't it beautiful? That's going to be amazing. Yep. Yep, yep. Yeah. Outside, our siding guy was working hard to get our second story decks built so we could finally bring in the concrete guy so he could pour our patios and garage aprons. It's always a fine dance between all the different contractors on site. In June, we also got to wish Gary's middle child, Kennison, a happy graduation from high school. 
It's hard to believe how fast time flies and there isn't a day we don't think of them. Even with the outrageous fuel prices, we managed to get back out on the boat for some sockeye salmon fishing. In two days of fishing, we easily limited out under two hours and brought home 24 red salmon for our freezers. For the 4th of July, we loaded up the dogs and headed north towards Fairbanks to spend a few days away from the build and relax in the warm waters of Chena Hot Springs. I don't know if this was the smartest idea, as it was well over 80 degrees the entire weekend, but it sure was fun. We ended up renting a private Airbnb on the resort property, and most of the weekend we just hung around in our hammock and relaxed for our stay. Although it was smoky due to a nearby wildfire, it seemed not to bother us too much. But unfortunately, our time had to come to an end and we needed to head back south to our house as we had exactly one month to get ready for our family's arrival and to move inside the house. Not only were we getting ready for family to arrive, but we also had our upcoming 2022 RVing to Alaska rally to get ready for. And I finally spotted my first 2022 RV2AK decal in the wild. Back at home, our cabinetry finally arrived. Our decks were finished. Our driveway aprons were poured. Oh, and look, another decal has been spotted. This only means one thing, it's rally time. What started out as a one-time event back in 2019, when we were just visitors, has now turned into an annual campout for our RVing to Alaska Facebook group members due to popular demand. It is also much easier for us to host an annual campout now that we are full-time Alaskan residents. Every July, we hold an RV rally somewhere in our beautiful state of Alaska. In 2022, our event was held in the middle of the Alaskan Range at Isabel Pass. We named our rally Rendezvous in the Range, which quickly got dubbed Rendezvous in the Rain due to an incoming weather system that moved in on us the first day of the campout. In all, we had 57 RVs with 117 attendees camp with us for five days and nights of fun, food, and friendship. During our week together, many activities were offered, including jet boat tours at nearby McLaren River Lodge on the Denali Highway. We had several members take a group hike up to the Golcana Glacier at the head of the valley where we were camped. We held seminars on boondocking and using solar power for off-grid camping, and of course, we enjoyed nightly campfires and happy hours, where we brought back our famous Alaskan Waddingers for everyone to try. We want to thank Battleborn Batteries for helping sponsor our 2022 RVing to Alaska Rally. To learn more about our annual rallies, be sure to check out our website 
at rvingtoalaska.com slash rally. Tickets go on sale March 1st for our 2024 rally at the Tulsona Wilderness Campground in the Glen Allen area. With the rally over, it was crunch time for the big family visit. Only one week remained until mom and dad arrive. Although we were so close to being able to move in, appliances were being installed, fixtures and railings were still being hung, and furniture was being delivered and set up. We had, so far, yet to go. With the arrival of mom and dad, we took the boat out for one last adventure of the season to our favorite hidden gem of Prince William Sound to the Port Ashton Lodge, where we rented a cabin for the weekend. We spent a good amount of time fishing and came home with a couple of halibut and black rockfish to fill our freezers. If you are looking for a unique lodge experience, be sure to look up Port Ashton Lodge. It will be an adventure like none other. It was now family time. With the arrival of Gary's grandma, his two brothers, our sister-in-law, and their son and his girlfriend, Gary's two cousins and uncle, the house was not only being occupied for the very first time, but more importantly, it was occupied with family. With termination dust showing up on the nearby mountains, fall is starting to make an appearance. Where? Has our summer gone? We hope that you are enjoying our update videos on our house build from 2022. I know so much of these past few videos are just still pictures. We never recorded much video this past year throughout our build, so I'm doing the best I can with what I have to try and update with you with our progress. As always, we want to thank you for watching. And as every content creator says, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Leave us a comment down below, smash that like button if you like this video, and be sure to activate the notification bell if you want to be notified when we post our next video. Thanks again, thanks for watching, and until next time, live free. Next time on Living Free Alaska, we recap our busy fall adventures that include taking a sightseeing flight out of Seward with Seward Air Tours, where we flew over the towering Bear and Aliak Glaciers and the Harding Ice Field inside Kenai Fjords National Park, as well as share other activities, such as processing more moose for our freezers and flying out for our best friend's wedding activities. If you missed this video, click the link above. And good news, this is the last vlog of 2022, and we will move into an action-packed 2023 as we continue to catch up the channel with our past videos. We are sure looking forward to getting back to regular 
weekly vlogs starting in March. Okay, see you tomorrow. Thanks again for watching as we catch up the vlog to real time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we post again. And lastly, we hope you'll join us again next time here on Living Free Alaska.